All right, Bible students, what happens when you die? Are you conscious while dead? Are you alive while dead? In heaven, are you alive in hell or purgatory? What is the state of man in death? This is a presentation. We do an hour-long presentation at churches on this called Martin Luther versus the Pope. And there's a nine-minute boil-down of that in the link in the description below. Watch that video. This is an addendum to that about Martin Luther quotes. When you go Go by the Bible and the Bible alone, you will find good company like great men like Martin Luther to stand beside. And not that he is the authority on the matter, the Bible is the only authority. But what does the Bible say about this? What did Dr. Luther have to say about that? First of all, he opposes and exposes the Roman Catholic teaching system of deceptions contrary to that of the Bible. He broke away from the Catholic Church, founded the Protestant Reformation, and what did he have to say? I permit the Pope to make articles of faith for himself and his faithful, such as the bread and wine are transubstantiated in the sacrament. The Pope is the emperor of the world and the king of heaven and God upon earth. The soul is immortal with all these monstrous opinions to be found in the Roman dunghill of decretals. So his view was that the Romanist system taught a bunch of dung and decretals that were false and error and deceptions and were not from God's word. And included in those, he said it, the immortality of the soul. The Bible says God alone is immortal. We don't inherently possess immortality. We should seek for immortality, the Bible says, and we will put on immortality. Again, watch the link in the description below. You'll hear the whole Bible teaching on this, but here's what he says next. The Christians who lie on the ground are no longer called dead, but sleepers. The Bible calls death a sleep. People who will surely also rise again. For when we refer to those who are asleep, we refer to those who are lying down, but will wake up and rise again. By that very word, asleep, Scripture indicates the future resurrection. So that immortality is coming. We don't live on while dead, but we will put on immortality. For just as one who falls asleep and reaches morning unexpectedly when he awakes, without knowing what has happened to him, so we shall suddenly rise on the last day, without knowing how we have come into death and through death, we shall sleep until he comes and knocks on the little grave and says, Dr. Martin, get up. <laughs> then I shall arise in a moment and be happy with him forever. So again, the Bible does not teach that we are alive while dead, conscious and aware. It is an unconscious sleep and the next conscious thought after falling asleep in death is the second coming of Jesus Christ. Martin Luther goes on and says, it is but a night before Christ rouses us from sleep. In referring to believers who have died, he says that they died in such a manner that after they had been called away from the troubles and hardships of this life, they entered their chamber, slept there, and rested in peace. So may we have the peace now that transcends all understanding, that Jesus is coming soon. And if we believe in him, if we acknowledge him as our Lord and Savior, surrender all to him and accept his forgiveness and his salvation, we too will be raised unto everlasting life.